everybody, I'm John Self, and welcome to Self Perspective, a weekly video of information and insight to help you manage your career. Today, we're zeroing in on physicians. So if you're a physician, you're married to a physician, you know a physician, and they're being recru uh, recruited, you need to ask them to pay attention to this video. I have five critical questions that they need to ask the recruiters and their potential employers. And here's why they need to know the answers. There is enormous competition in the marketplace today. By, 19, by 2025, some of the estimates are that there'll be a shortage in primary care, internist, pediatrics, and family practice of almost 95,000 physicians. Even on the low end, there'll be a shortage of 35,000. And that means that the competition to get you to sign a deal to come to a community will be intense. And you need to pay attention to that because people will do and say whatever it takes to get you to sign on the dotted line. Recruiting is not a perfect business. Even with ethical people, it's a kind of a dark science. There's always going to be errors of omission, and sometimes those errors of omission are unintentional. But you have to be aware because good recruiters sometimes will not tell you things that you need to know. And it's really sort of almost incidental. And then there's errors of commission, where they will deliberately misrepresent issues like your income potential, uh, the, pa the basic package, things about the community, the culture of the organization. If there's anything bad, they will not only not tell you, they will shape the story in a different manner. And there are some recruiters that will do that. But why? Because they're paid to close deals. You are inventory to those recruiters and they will do what it takes, some of them, to get you to sign the deal. Some of these recruiters, I regretful, it's regret, regretful to say, can move from a used car lot to the physician recruiting office in one easy movement. That's a shame. 54% of the physicians who are recruited leave the site that they agreed to go to within five years. Now here's a, th this is something important. As a physician, the more often you change jobs, the lower your value goes in the marketplace. It affects your career, it affects your income potential, it, it affects your reputation. You don't need to be that person. So here are five questions you need to ask. First, what's the culture? What does that mean? Culture is one reason that physicians come to an organization and then leave, whether it's a hospital or a group practice. How they are treated. Are the values that they were told that exist, are they consistent? Is their opinion valued? A lot of physicians that leave say they've raised concerns about certain issues, and the older physicians, the ones that have a lot to protect in terms of their economic security, basically just disregard those. Culture is important. You want to work for an organization that cares what you think. For millennials who are all about values and mission and vision, you need to really focus on that because there's a lot of hospitals that don't get it and they'll tell you what you want to hear. Values and culture are important and that is a big reason physicians leave. So pay attention to that, dig down, ask the questions that are important to you. Secondly, is this a new opening or am I replacing someone who was here before? If I'm a replacement, why did they leave? What replacement am I? Am I the first replacement, the second replacement, the third replacement? That is extraordinarily important for you to understand. Third, what's the average income? Now you're going to be told maybe one thing by a recruiter and the employer. The person you need to ask is a physician who is in your specialty who's been there two or three years. Are they making the income they thought they would make? If they're not, why? If they're making more, how does that work? Number four, is there a current CMS investigation on fraud and abuse issues? Or is there an existing corporate integrity agreement about physician practice income? That's extremely important. Because you want to, if an organization has broken the rules in the past, 
whether they're intentional and unintentional, you got to question whether they might break them in the future. Five, and this is really important. You're going to be told some great things. We'll pay you this or that. What's the fair market value for your physician specialty in that given market? If you take 400,000 a year because they offered it to you and the fair market value is 200,000, you may find yourself in an embarrassing investigation that you don't want to be in. So that's up to you to ask that and vet that. Also, if your spouse comes with you, be sure the spouse has a chance to visit with other spouses in your specialty. How do they like the life in the community, the schools, etc.? And is the income what they expected it to be. Remember, there are five questions I've get, just given you, but you know what the dumb question is? The one you don't ask. If you have questions or would like some in, additional information, you can reach me at asktherecruiter at johngself.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.